Hi everybody, this is Q and welcome back to my tapes. In this episode, we are going to be talking, no, 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 not I. We need to have a conversation about Miss Kendall Jenner. And we need to talk about this idea of like, I don't want to say canceling rich people. Um, but yeah, if that's anything that you want to even entertain yourself with today, I need, I need us to sit down. You need to lay down on the couch and we need to have this therapy session about rich people and their fucking antics. If this is anything you want to listen to, you know what to do. Keep listening. All right, let's begin. Hi, everybody. How was your weekend? Mine was good. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> so in this video, just like I said, I kind of want us to swirl around and have some thoughts and have some, you know, you know, discrepancies and issues and rant and shout emotion about rich people. Um, and the reason why I want to start with rich people and not Kendall Jenner is because first, I just want to entertain the question of like, can you cancel a rich person? And I don't really like using this word cancel because I feel like when people have pointed out issues that they have with somebody and their antics and who their actions affect, I, I don't, you know, I, I almost feel like it's been used as a way to gaslight people, you know? Like, I feel like when you call people out for saying like, look, this behavior is unacceptable and there are consequences for this, people want to get pressed. And so I feel like now they use this word cancel as a way to turn it back on people who have legitimate concerns. Um, but I don't know. How do you reprimand? Let's be, let's, let's use that word for the rest of the video. So you can't reprimand a rich person. <laughs> Can you? Can you? Right? So this is what we're going to start with today. And after we kind of go through my thoughts on this, which I don't necessarily know if my thoughts are concrete. If you have any thoughts about this video, please pause the video and comment at any, at any point in time. Um, but like, I can't say these are like my concrete thoughts forever and ever and ever till infinity and beyond. Um, no, but I think this is a good place to start. After we kind of discuss this question, and I'm trying to answer it and rationalize it in my head to you guys, let's talk about Kendall Jenner and her fucking party. Okay? <laughs> so yeah, with that, let's begin. I think I'm also going to put um, maybe timestamps, honestly. So if you listen to this and you're like, I don't want to hear you talk about like canceling rich people, then um, I'm praying Q from the future, Q from the future, put some timestamps, please, so these people can listen to this video. Okay. With that, let's start with this. So let's pose this question. And, and you guys are going to help me think through this together. Like I said, you on the couch. We're going to think through this. We're both laying down. Let's both think about, about this. Can you reprimand a rich person? Pause the video right now. Answer the question. Can you reprimand a rich person? Can you hold a rich person accountable for their actions? And it doesn't necessarily need to be yes or no. But like, if you want to say something with nuance, put it to Okay, so this is what I think. Let's talk about this idea of reprimand, right? And I don't know, should I be pulling up definitions? Let me do that. Reprimand, to admonish people for poor behavior and poor work. Reproof, abomination, abomination, <laughs> reproach, reprove, abrade, chide, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, can we really hold rich people accountable? Can we? Can we hold rich people accountable in this culture? But most importantly, like, have we ever been able to hold rich people accountable for their actions? In my opinion, I think the answer is no. I think when you have access and you have resources, like this sort of, these fucking shenanigans, they're, they're, they're not even viewed as shenanigans. They're viewed as like these magical, whimsical events that people think shift society in maybe a turbulent way, but not necessarily a bad one. I feel like we've never really been able to hold rich people accountable unless you put their hand on a spike, unless you bring out a guillotine. Really, like unless there's like some sort of class solidarity of some kind, like I don't, they're not getting held responsible, you know? And like, why is this important? Like, 
why do we care about this? I'll come back to that at the end of this question. So the next thing I want to say is just like, can you as someone who is a peasant make any sort of difference or care into the way that these rich people live their lives? And the answer is yes and no. So the answer is no if you're obviously on your own. The answer is yes if you have a gang of you, a group of you to be like this behavior, you have to be accountable for this or else. Or else we won't support you and your goal to consumerism. I don't know. But really, it's just, I think there have been people who have been like successfully quote unquote reprimanded or canceled, right? And we can talk about that. So who are the people who, how can one reprimand a rich person? You can reprimand, and this is like, it wouldn't be you. It wouldn't be me either. I think it would have to be someone like on their level that doesn't like them. I think they would have to be like the cause of their demise. Um, I feel like this video is taking on a different tone. Oh my gosh, their demise, their sabotage, guillotine. Ooh, I like this, this screenplay I'm whipping out here. But yeah, I feel like the only sort of people that can really reprimand, you know, these people is if you have like power that you've been able to gather, oh my God, um, with other people maybe in your class. So if it's more than one of you, if it's more than just you and you're gathering together and you're gathering up your resources as a community, like then you can probably hold people accountable is like the community gavel, right? And then it's just like someone else who'd have to reprimand them is someone like that is in their same class but does not care for them. Or maybe someone that's in a higher class status that will essentially be their demise, right? So, I don't know. Yeah. So, in terms of, like, a primary group of people, you know, I feel like a group would have to be the people that decide they want to get rid of you or someone that's kind of on a bigger level. So, in terms of, like, Kendall Jenner, you know, and this is where we go to Act 2, right? Act 2. So like Kendall Jenner and just like her actions and how do we feel about that? And how do people feel in general about these rich people who keep rubbing it in our fucking faces that like they're not going to die and be homeless? <laughs> I feel as though I feel like celebrity culture is dying. Uh-huh. So let's start there. Huh? Celebrity culture is on its way out. I think that that's and that's a good thing, right? That's the community. That's like people. That's group of people that just like I'm not I'm no longer invested in you. Like I'm no longer invested. I'm not entertained by what you do. And like you can't take up my attention as like just an everyday consumer alone. So no, I don't care about your day to day activities anymore. I'm no longer deifying you as like some sort of celebrity. And that I think is a good part of what's happening now. So yeah, I think like we're reflecting and we're just like, wow, these people have really been able to skirt this recession that we're heading into and living it up and celebrating their lives dangerously, you know, and telling people not to screenshot photos of their party. But like, I feel like everything's all in due time. I feel like things are dismantling. I feel like the pendulum is swinging. I feel like people don't even care about her. People just care about the fact that like her parties or whatever she was doing is spreading more lack of safety. And and here's kind of where I want to say about this lack of safety. And that's what people care about. People no longer care about her in that in the way that we are we have kind of let go of this deification of celebrity, but more so just like what the actions once again represent. Hashtag we're trying to reprimand you for your actions and their consequences to the things that you do, right? And something I kind of want to say to that in terms of this, like, dismantling is that, is that people are still in a way attached, you know, to her. People somehow feel like, okay, if I see this person and I get access to their image through social media, then I am closer to them as in I am like them. So not parasocial relationships, which that is a case, right? That happens. But it's that... People feel like if I can see these people who are so out of bounds and out of reach as people in just a totally different like class and stratosphere that I can do the sort of actions that they're doing. So whatever they're doing on Instagram, I can do it. I can do it too. So that is kind of like another crux of like these actions and just like what it means for just everyday people today. 
we're trying to reprimand people for the fact that they see these parties on Instagram, which Instagram is quote unquote accessible. And they think, well, she's doing it on this platform and in this way with common themes that I can understand and I relate to. So let me also throw a party at my backwood, you know, rundown house, possibly being foreclosed on rent that hasn't been paid to host this whole entire party. And the effects of having that and maybe getting sick and dying because you don't have whatever placenta cell treatment that whatever Donald Trump take, whatever Donald Trump took, you know, whatever these rich people have access to is not in any capacity what you or I would have access to. Right. So that's like the gag of it all. It's like it's just like a mind fuck. Like it's just a mind conundrum. Okay. A conundrum of issues. So you know, you can sit up now, sit up from your couch. <laughs> Let's round off this video. This is kind of a shorter video. Um, but yeah, what do you think about this question now? Like, can you reprimand a rich person? What are your thoughts on that? And would you say you're influenced by celebrities? Like, I think, I personally think like, especially this year, celebrity culture, there was a serious nail in the coffin for celebrity culture and just like how we deify them because it's like we have our own issues like we have our own life we ever it's so exhausting and also a lot of you are just not funny and you're not talented like you're not funny you're not talented you're not relatable just leave me alone so i think that's something that really did change but do you feel like when you see people and i i feel like i sound like you know your parents are like oh if your friends jumped off of a bridge would you do it too yes <laughs> But yeah, like, do you see celebrities do things? And do you think that when you see them do things, you're like, oh, this is accessible to me. Like, oh, I can do this too. And we can use this this sort of statement and you, we can use this question in a lot of other things, right? The Birkin bag thing where it's like, I'm, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> so yeah, think about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. We can talk about this more later. But I believe this is going to be tape three side b or tape four side a and if that is the case hold on let me check then oh, okay this would be tape three side b that was so professional i'm not editing that though this is 12 minutes long all right so thank you so much for listening comment like subscribe let me know what you think and i will talk to you soon bye